Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you another fantastic episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are going to build a double decker bus. I had this idea, I saw a viewer actually request a double decker bus. I think he was actually referring to my off-road bus that I had done. I did that, I did like a 2.0 bus. But today I want to build a like a London style double decker bus. So we're going to start out with the uh, interior here. I'm not really sure how I want to do the seats. Uh, I know the driver, the style bus that I'm looking at, the driver actually sets back pretty far. So I know that's what I need to do there, but it's the passengers. I'm kind of having some questions. I've seen what it looks like when you stack the, uh, the uh, passenger seats up side by side, and that takes up a lot of room, and that you're going to have to make the bus really wide. And I don't think that's going to work. Uh, my off-road bus 2.0 was like an exaggerated extreme bus. So, I mean, it would, it could be as wide as I want it. This one, I want to try to keep it more close to the uh, scale that I'm seeing in the picture. So, I might wind up just doing just single seats on each side. I, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, first thing, I'm going to add the front grill. The, it has like a radiator piece here in the front and everything curves up from it. And then we go into the second tier on one side, and it goes to the uh, where the driver window would be on the other. Uh, let's see. That seems to be in the middle. I think I might move this down. Let's uh, let's cut this out, and we'll move this whole uh, whole radiator piece down. Let's see. Go in. Go. Why won't you go in? Stick where I want you to stick. Hmm. Uh, let's just stick a block under it, and we'll uh. Should be able to place it. Let's see. Grab it and there we go. That's where I want it. We can delete the block, hopefully the radiator. Alright, yeah, we're good. Alright, let's continue with the front here. Uh I need a let's go grab some of the pieces I need. Let's go ahead and grab the passenger seat. Uh let's place these. I don't know if this is gonna be does it need to be even with the driver? I don't know. I mean, technically, the entrance is going to be at the back of the bus. Also, that's where the... Uh, some of the pictures I'm seeing, that's where they put the stairs to get to the second tier. And let me go ahead and place some of these real quick. And Yeah, that's, that's definitely not going to work. Um, I'm not going to be able to walk up and down the aisle. I'm going to have to make this bus a lot wider. And... I, it's just not gonna look right. Kind of wish Scrap Mechanic had like a uh, like a bench seat with two seats just kind of attached to each other, but they don't. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna just use this seat and one on each side. Uh, I still think we're gonna be able to fit plenty of passengers, so we we shouldn't have an issue there. So let's go ahead and place them. Make sure I have a block to the side of it. That way, that would be the wall. And I'm going to leave that spot right next to the driver. I'm going to leave it open right now. I'm picturing this kind of like a, uh, a bus that gives out tours, and a lot of times you'll have a spot for the uh, touring guide up at the front. So that's what I'm going to... I'm going to leave that open right there. I'm not sure what I'm going to stick up there. Let's go ahead and delete a little bit of this. This is where the wheel wells are going to start. I'm going to have to use the big off-road tire. Um, I can't... The little tire is just out of the question. It's just not going to fit. I believe the off-road tire will actually look to scale, so it shouldn't look awkward. Uh, let's see. I don't know this. I mean, I like the whole fact that I can walk down this, but it, it does bug me that I don't have all the seats that I think I should. But, you know, I think we're going to ignore it. I, I believe this is going to work out fine. I mean, once we do this and we add the tier above it, I mean, there's going to be plenty of seats in the bus. It should be okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move. I'm trying to think, do I need to be... How many seats should be on this side opposite of the driver? Well, I guess... No, I guess we should go ahead and have... We should be even. I don't, I don't know why I'd even think about deleting those. Now, let's go ahead and bring it up to the driver here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to have to make the bus longer. I don't want to make it too long. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit longer here. This is where the uh, stairs are going to be. The entrance is going to be on the side here. Uh, stairs, I'm not really sure what type of material I want to use. 
let's let's look at the uh, actual staircase step here. This this might be a little too wide. I, I don't know. Uh, also, it's always just possible I could use the uh, wood block and create stairs that way. I might have to do that just to get them in like a, a certain size. Yeah, this uh, this looks too too wide here. Uh, I'm gonna not the stairs aren't gonna just go straight up. They're gonna go up like half a flight, turn, and then go up another half a flight. Uh, you, I wouldn't be able to fit just stairs that went straight up. So I'm thinking something like that. Let's uh go ahead and build a couple more stairs here. Uh, that's actually in the aisle. <laughs> I want a trip hazard here. Let's delete that. So, like I said, I'm going to go up like this, and then I'm going to go out to the right, and then turn the stairs around, and then go up the rest of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that. I don't want those setting right up against the uh, passenger there. So, let's delete that block. Okay. Anyways, like I said, up this way, and then we're going to go to the right, so let's go ahead and build a... Uh, like a platform over here, and then we'll continue the stairs up. So, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm able to like maneuver this because sometimes the scrap mecha mechanics characters, almost like the hitbox or whatever it is, it, it's a little funny. It seems like he's a little bigger than he really is. So, sometimes when you're trying to maneuver through things, you get stuck in the walls, you get stuck on the ceiling. So, I'm gonna have to make, definitely make sure that everything's tall enough that you know I can maneuver through the bus. I mean. It, what fun would the bus be if it just has the looks, but you can't actually like use it? You can't actually go up to the second tier. You can't actually walk up and down the aisles. So we're gonna definitely make sure this thing functions. Um, let's continue up. I don't wonder if that's too high. I don't know. That might be too high. Maybe I should build like a. Uh, let me go ahead and build a platform out a little bit, and then we'll build like a post. And kind of get a feel for how high this is. This might be a little too high. I'll I might have to shave some stairs off. I don't know. Let's uh, let's check this here. I'll go up. I mean, it looks okay. Uh, I don't know. Let me uh, let me build like where the floor would be. Let's build that out. Oh yeah, that's uh, it's too high. Let's uh, let's shave off a couple stairs here. Uh, I definitely didn't need it that high. Uh, I just want to just clear my head. I. I do have a, this fear of this thing being way too top heavy, which I'm sure if you're going very fast, and then yeah, that's going to be a problem. But I don't intend on going very fast. I mean, it really is just a bus. This isn't a extreme off road bus. This is a normal bus. So let's go ahead and build this platform out and check it out. And make sure this actually looks right, and we'll continue on with the rest of the body here. Just kind of build the shell first. Oh yeah, that looks okay. All right, we've uh, started on the tiers. I've had to stare at this picture a little bit longer. I, kind of, I got actually I confused myself. I kept thinking that, all right, well, no, the entrance needs to be at the front. And then I started staring at some more. I was like, well, where are the stairs at? And from what I see, a lot of them have everything in the back. So that's where I'm going to place it on the bus. Uh, I might be wrong in placement, but, you know, I'm not really that worried about it. I just want to make it look like the bus. I mean... I just want I want it to function and I want everything to work right. I'm I'm a little less worried about where everything is, because another thing I have to take into consideration right here in the front, I have to have that uh, off-road wheel, and I'm gonna have to have a decent-sized wheel wheel. And I don't think I'd be able to fit stairs in the entrance right here at the front. I think it's gonna be easier to do it in the back, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna extend the bus out just a little bit more. This will be, this is the entrance here. I'm gonna go a little further back, and that will be where the uh, the sets the wheel wells for the back tires and I'll have like an engine compartment in the back so let's go ahead and build the post I don't know let's I think I'm too fat to get through that let's uh delete a little bit here I'm thinking that I should be able to squeeze through that and let's see let's go ahead and close some of this off I really just have a just some areas I need to fill in on this shell and then we should be pretty good to go um Everything else is going to be fairly straightforward. If you watched any of my videos, you know how I do suspensions and stuff like that. I, I might show a little bit how I'm doing it, just in case you're new to the videos, or new to my videos. But uh, I'll probably skip through some of that and just get rid of it. I mean, it's stuff that's pretty common knowledge if you've played Scrap Mechanic any bit. So, try to keep this video short. I'm, I mean, still probably going to wind up being 20 minutes, but, you know, I wanted, 
I don't want to do a grand 30 minute build, 40 minute build, so I'll try to keep it pretty short here. Let's see. I need to go ahead and place the seats. I'm trying to think how far do I need to be? I'm going to need to have a little railing around that because I don't want to, like a liability and people falling off of it. So let's start that and we're going to keep the seat, like we're going to start the uh, seats over here and keep them back a little bit because once you uh, get off the top of those stairs, you're going to need to turn to the right and walk that away. I don't want to block that path. So let's go ahead and build the seats forward here. And that's about as far as we're going to get. That's okay. That, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and just build the front. Extend that out that way. Go ahead and put the post up. And we're pretty close to being done with the body. I'm going to add, of course, I don't have a glass texture. But I'm going to add the uh, frames where the window should be. So if you see it open right now, that's not going to be like that. I'm going to, I will go in and actually try to make it look like there is windows. Let's see. Closed everything down here. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and set it on the floor. I need to go ahead and curve. Uh, there's a curved piece up here that I need to go ahead and put on. Uh, make sure it looks like it, the bus has a little bit more shape than just a big block. So let's go ahead and place that on there. Also, I'm going to switch up some textures. I, I'm going to try to add as much to the bus as I can. Uh, it, like I said, it'd be nice to have a red block, but I don't have that. But I, I certainly can put some new textures in and make it look good. All right, folks, we've cut the back out here. This is where the engines are going to set. I'll probably set the controllers back here. Uh, I'll put a bearing on the right and map maybe a button to the front, and I can open it up. That way I can have easy access to the motors if I need to add power, mess with the controllers, anything I need to do. Uh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to need a little bit more space back here for the wheels. So let's go ahead and cut that out and start this, maybe maybe about like that. Uh, Shock-wise, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use. I mean, I could use the big off-road ones, but, I mean, it might need it because of the amount of weight that's going to be in this bus, but I might try to, I'm going to use the smaller ones first, and I'll set it on the ground and see how much it compresses and see if it's bottoming out. Another ideal I had for the back, since I know the back's going to be really heavy because this is where the motors are setting, this is where the staircase is setting, I think I could do like a triple spring and just give it that little bit extra. But uh, we're going to do the single one first, try it out, see what it does, and then if I need to go back in there and add more springs, I can always go back in there and, and do that. So let's go ahead and build that. I don't think I went too far. Oh, let's... Uh, Go and grab the smaller one. Is that tire gonna poke out? It. Let me uh, place this. Yeah, that tire's gonna poke out. Let's uh, shorten that just a hair. Thinking like this. So let's shorten that. Let's get our spring, and we'll make it curve around. Uh, front suspension's gonna be fairly similar. Like I said, I, just, I still have to have a bearing up there to make it where it turns. Um, so it's gonna be simple. I need to do some more textures. The shell's about 100% complete, besides just doing some cosmetic work on it. Uh, seats are in place. There's going to be a lot of connecting. Uh, I've got a lot of buttons to start mapping. I've got to do the uh, entrance doors. Uh, I've got to do the back door here. Um, I might need to... Let's go with this on the wheel well and see how far this compresses. I might need to build this down. I'm not 100% sure here. But yeah, I think we're going to do the doors next and... Do the front suspension. Okay, let's see. Do I need... Thinking, thinking this would work for a step. I don't need it to go really far down. Thinking just one step here should be enough to be able to walk up into the... Well, not walk up in the bu into the bus, but be able to kind of jump up and go... Ooh, that sits on the back. At least the stairs... Uh, the step clears the floor and doesn't bottom out, but I think I might need to work on the back suspension. Let's go ahead and build a... Uh, handrail here and I mean, a lot of buses you right when you walk up into you got a little rail you can hold on to uh you're not gonna have any like standing room in the bus we'll make sure everybody's seated but uh let's do that let's uh let's cover this wheel up i kind of pictured like me having a almost like a tour guide up here in the front i'm still gonna have someone of a spot for it but with the way these wheels, how big they are, I'm going to need to build a huge wheel wheel. 
So that kind of takes away some of the spot up here in the front. So it's a little unfortunate, but I think there's still plenty of room up here for somebody to look back and, you know, talk to people. So should be fine there. Let's go ahead and build these doors. What material shall I use? There's not much options here, so maybe the barrier block. We'll use that. Um, I don't want to, I thought about making it wood, but when it's closed, I want to be able to really tell where the doors are. I mean, anybody knows where they are, but I just want them to stand out. Would be nice to have some sort of window block, like have like a frame and then have the window blocks in there. That would be really cool, but that's just not in Scrap Mechanic yet. So, let's see. I need to grab the controllers. Let's do the controllers next. Let's go ahead and grab need one for the doors on the side, and I'm going to need one for the engine compartment door. So, got to make sure I place these even. I don't. I want to try to balance the weight here. I don't know how much the controllers actually weigh, but I'm sure any weight matters. It's already a little out of balance with the stairs, so I might have to place some metal blocks in some convenient places to actually protect that and fix it. Let's see... All right, controllers are hooked up. We need to hook the motors up to the front. Get the tires connected. And then we should be uh, we should be in business here. Uh, we're we're almost done. So grab that. Like I said, I just wanted to do an extra build this week. I had some extra time this weekend. I figured, hey, you know, channel's doing good. Let's let's stick another build in and get it done before the weekend's out, so All right, I think she's finished. Uh, I added a little texture here, a little white tile block. I did the triple springs in the back. Just kind of made it look good. I mean, I, I'm still disappointed about not having a red block, but this I, this really does look pretty good. Uh, let me cover up. I'm showing, I'm showing too much uh, suspension here, so let's cover that up. Got your brake lights. Uh, let's add a little bit more bumper here. Of course, I spot things as I'm wanting to show it off. I spot things like, oh, no, I need to change this. So let's do that. Doors are open. Got little, everything, I mean, it looks cool. The inside's really nice. Let's go up to the second tier real quick. Got the handrails. Got all the seats. Let's go back down to the first tier and look at the front. I've got all the buttons mapped out. Uh, got horn, radio. Everything's good to go. And we're about ready for our maiden voyage. And we're off. And it's slow. I kind of expected this, but, uh... Oh, you know, you know it's starting to pick up speed. It's gonna be fine. I, I, it's gonna be fine. I'm trying to convince myself I don't need to go back in there and tweak the motors up all the way to full. Of course, I could always put rockets on it, but... Let's close the back door and go around the block here. Really happy. I mean, it turns. It feels... I mean, it's not agile or anything, but it, it feels good. It... Looks great. I love the second tier. It'd be cool to have your friends up there. You got a good view. And I'm happy with this build. I I'm really am. And I'm j especially for a kind of a last minute build. So, anyways, that's probably gonna wrap it up for this episode, guys. If you'd like to like the video, subscribe. Anything helps. The channel's growing. I'm. It's fantastic. I want to introduce some new series. We're definitely gonna continue Scrap Mechanic. The more they add, the more updates. Survival mode. It's gonna be great. So. Comment below, give me new suggestions, and we'll see you guys next time.